Hey y'all, it's Erica back again, and this time, what do you know, I'm gonna talk about the left hand. So I'm gonna put my bow down and just talk about this hand right here, because we spent so much time already talking about this one. The shape of your left hand makes a huge difference on how you use it. So I just wanted to talk about that shape and how we can be more effective at our playing. In fact, the shape not only helps you to be able to play all of your notes, but it helps you to play them really well in tune. So let's talk about that basic shape. When I'm starting beginners on violin and I'm talking about the left hand, I show them this curve. Can you see? It looks like maybe an upside down J. With little kids, I talk about it being like a candy cane or a shepherd's crook. So do you see how it's straight all the way from the elbow, all the way up here to these second knuckles? Not this, we don't want that, but this. Even if I turn my hand, even my thumb is straight. Can you see that? It lines up with the rest of my hand. So now let's bring it under here. Can you find that candy cane? If you're having trouble, you can do one of two things. You can straighten out your hand and then curl each finger. Um, or another thing you can do is you can find something to kind of hang your arm from. It could be someone else's finger. It could be a bar somewhere that you could use for that. Um, but then slowly take your hand out and after you've hung it, it makes this nice curve. Then let's bring it back under the violin. Now we're ready to put our fingers down on the string. So once we've got that shape set, then we're ready to play in tune and to be able to use our fingers well. You might notice one other thing, and this is really important, this wrist. I see this a lot. It's easy, right? It helps you hold up the violin and it's a nice place to rest your hand. But look what happens if I try to play a scale. Oh, it's terrible, I can't even finish it. <laughs> my, hand, my fingers are so smashed down I can't reach properly. If I straighten out my wrist, it means that my fingers can reach further and they can move more smoothly, okay? So that's one really important thing about using your left hand is making sure that the shape is correct. Let's practice this and practice playing in tune on one of these scales. Again, on this same sheet, learning concepts. I wanna start with number two this time. The nice thing about the key that this is in is you can use your open strings to help you play in tune. Let's start with the first note. Is your hand in shape? Is your wrist back? Let's find the very first note. It's an E, and you have an E string on your violin. Listen carefully to that note, and let's play the E again. If you play it in tune, you might even hear your E string ring after you're done playing. Listen for that again. Could you hear my E string still ringing? That tells you that it's really in tune. There are a few other notes like that in this scale. The G, third finger, the A, fourth finger, and the D, third finger on A string, and then the fourth finger E, or you could play open string for that too if it helps. But it's good practice to do fourth finger, strengthen those fingers. Let's try it together. We'll stop after each of those notes that will ring and see if they're actually ringing. One, two, three, four. Ooh, hear it? There it is. Two, three, four. Here comes another one. Ooh, there's my cheese string. Is yours ringing too? Let's keep going. Next one, three, four. I hear the A string, do you hear it? Is yours ringing? Let's keep going. Three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's another. I hear my D string, is yours ringing too? And then the last one, three, four. 
there it is, there's the ring. Let's play it all the way through. If you're having trouble tuning your notes, use mine to help guide you. One, two, three, go. One more final comment before I go. If you want to practice more of this at home with really slow notes and you have a metronome that plays pitches, one thing I find really helpful is finding a pitch that acts as a drone. You just play it the whole time and then you play against it. So for example, this scale starts on E. If you can turn an E on your metronome on, or any other app, maybe there's a phone app or something like that, then you keep playing that E the entire time and you can tune all of your notes to that E. That's been very helpful for me and I hope it's helpful for you too.